Oh, it's raining. Wow. There's my pencil. Look at it. It's right there in that box. Oh, look at that. Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to go to Alaska. I've always wanted to drive it, drive all the way up there from Ohio. It's a very long trip, but this is finally becoming a reality. We're taking this trip and it's in the middle of our work season. And we've all been working our little tails off. And I'm really looking forward to just having a break from that. Being able to just relax, kind of get a new scope on life. You know, Sam first came to us with the idea of driving to Alaska. And to be honest, it, I wasn't really enthused about it when I first heard about it. It seemed like a long trip, and I just thought, why not just fly up there? But the more we talked about it, the idea of actually getting in a car and driving to Alaska uh, started to grow on me. So I'm super excited. Today, like he said, it's finally coming a reality. We're finally setting out on this amazing adventure. So there's only three of us going on this excursion. There is Darian Yoder, myself, Brendan Miller, and then Samuel Overholt. And honestly, if I was gonna take a trip to Alaska, these are the two guys I would be with. So the opportunity to do that with them is exciting. So the round trip from Ohio to Alaska is about 9,700 miles. And what car would we be using to make that trip? A gold Honda Accord, appropriately named Goldilocks. We'll wait till the last minute to clean the car. Got to make sure that tire pressure is on point. Yes, we do. We want max tire pressure so that we can get the best fuel mileage possible. Oh, whoops. You might say we're going. I'll send this to you, Brendan, for your documentary. All right. <laughs> excessive isn't it alrighty guys we are on our way to the great state Woo! of Alaska everybody's pumped everybody's excited one of the things we're, we're planning on doing during this trip is not shaving um, which is kind of sad for me because uh, my dear cousins Darren and Sam can both grow glorious amazing beards and I just kind of <laughs> grow this sad caterpillar <laughs> After three weeks of not shaving, uh, it's gonna be very, very scary. But nevertheless, we're gonna try it and <laughs> and see uh, what it looks like after three weeks. I'll keep you updated. So we're, we're here, this is our first stop, Dunham Sports. We're getting Darren up here hiking shoes. It's like play by play. Because we are gonna be doing a lot of hiking. <laughs> That'd be crazy. And so, yep. Brendan's actually getting himself a too. Oh yeah, definitely. What, what's he doing back there now? Arranging something. We're like stopped in traffic and he's back there. <laughs> what are you doing, Darren? Darren. What are you doing, dude? Uh, 
I am impressed. You gotta get your wires. <laughs> uh, right, the wires. Sorry, I forgot about that. The wires are very He's important. Got the wires. Alrighty guys, we've been driving for a while and we're finally reaching our host for the night's house. <laughs> Somewhere up here. Unless the GPS is wrong. We could be pretty far out of our way. We could be so like lost for all we know. Omelet. Oh, we have an omelet. We're in Indiana somewhere. Not sure where. Everything there's looks feed, There's feed grains. Like Everything that. looks the same. I Sam, there's feed grains. Woo, there's feed. Woo. What's a feed grain? I knew feed, the big, uh, I feed, don't know what they a are. feed silo. Silos. But they're they everywhere. The it's, it's no, they're everywhere. It's it's Indiana. No. We're still a ways out. Dude, we're very close. There's this truck. There they go. All righty, kids. We are here. Woo. Oh boy. I need a shower. Yeah, I need a shower. Time to shower. I'm the shower. Yeah. This little camper to hook up to that thing. It's 35, we're here. Oh, well guys, today has been a long day, uh, but we did make it to Indiana. We made it to our host's house. Thank you, Justin and Christy, for putting us up. Hospitality was excellent. Tomorrow, though, we do have a long drive ahead of us. Today's drive was about five hours, uh, but tomorrow we have about a 12-hour drive to South Dakota, and then we're staying at somebody else's house there. And then the next day, we're tr going to try to make it all the way to Great Fa Falls, Montana. And then from Great Falls, Montana, uh, we're going to go into Canada. So a lot of driving ahead, but so far the trip's been fun. Hopefully uh, we won't get too burned out on the drive tomorrow. We'll have to see once. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Y'all ready to roll? Ready to roll. I got to, you, uh, not that you can see anything. But. Hey! Hey! Text Justin to say we're going straight now. Where? Where's the Where's the gas station at? Right down the road. You know, it's hard to drink coffee out of this thing because it sloshes. It sloshes and you like. That's what I'm saying, like it'll burn your mouth. What are you doing? Putting some stuff away. Organizing. Getting a fresh pair of socks. I see that. Yeah. Nothing around. We're almost in South Dakota. Except the tiny little gas station. Well, very, fast. very desolate. Alrighty guys, just made it to our second stop of the trip. 
our host's house right here. It's been a long day, but everybody is still it's like intact. Cheerio. Yeah. Oh, it's 729. Yeah, this it's definitely like, looks like, yeah. Yep, 25,000 out for it. Woo, I do see kids. Nice house. Two car garage. Where do we park? Angled garage off the house. Uh, we are currently hurtling through uh, South Dakota right now, and we only have time for granola bars, so this is our breakfast. It's a good granola bar. quick daily mustache update. We are starting to see some great growth around the upper lip. The bottom of the neck and the chin and not so much. Um, we stopped at some store and uh, Gary and got mustache wax which he has used to, to beautifully taper the ends of his mustache. Sadly I don't think I'll be able to use any just yet but you never know. After three weeks you might get some decent hair growth. All right, Sam, where are we at right now? We are in uh, Buffalo, Wyoming. A lot chillier out here. A little bit. We've been, been driving for, oh, about four hours or so, three and a half, four hours. Yeah. We have not gotten out the car that long. Total hours today are what? Total today? Yes. Oh, so far? Yeah. Uh, seven. Seven hours, yeah. Seven and a half, seven, yeah. Wow. Feels good to get out of the car, stretch our legs. Definitely some interesting scenery going on here. A lot chillier but super cool. What's the problem? What do you want about? Why did you want that? No, we're good. What are you freaking out about, Sam? My phone is like... It doesn't like you or what? Rerouting, jumping around. Sam has a phobia for GPS's. Hey, do you have that address, Sam? Yeah, I do. We'll put it in. Well guys, we finally made it to our host's house for the third night. Uh, <laughs> Elliot. Super glad to be here. What's up, Elliot? It's been a long day. Get some good food in our bellies, get rested up, and then hit it again tomorrow. Catch you then. Muffler, Muffler guard or something. Uh, this suspicious looking piece of metal. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Why did that thing come loose? Take that stuff out. It's a heat protector. Uh, it's a heat sink or something. Yeah. Well, where was it attached? I don't know. See the hole? Up here. Yeah. Where's it supposed to be? It's off? completely loose. <laughs> Why did it come off, I wonder? It rattled off, see? It literally broke itself loose from this housing right here. You said you brought wire, right? Um. We have duct tape. I did not bring wire. Can you just oh, rip that thing off, wire. dude? I had wire in my bag. Can you just rip that thing yeah. off? You can take it off, it does not hurt anything, but. I brought zip ties. Oh, perfect. Uh, 
Where were the zip ties at? They are deep. Tape's a very good idea. Tape is always good. <laughs> Overcoming obstacles. Can you make me whole? Would you like one? I would. Would you like a zip tie? Eating dirt. Really tight. One more. Between the three of us, we'll be fine. Oh, yes. <laughs> a little, little bit of grass, a little dirt, nothing nothing to complain about. That's yeah. horrible. That's extremely hot. hot. Okay, so the kimchi is officially... Let's get rid of that. This is kind of good. I don't really want that. Oh, Has it been leaking? It hasn't really been leaking that much, so that's good. See, the thing is, it, it builds pressure, and that, that, that cap doesn't quite seal, so it kind of... Are you, are you leaving it here? No! Okay. Is it leaking? No, it's not leaking. Okay. The hor Sam's horror when we it found it the horror, was leaking. Dude. Sam's like, something leaks. <laughs> Just like, crap. It creates a major problem. Just like drizzles down through everything. So having somewhat of an interest in food, I decided to bring along a tasty snack on the trip. That snack being kimchi. Now, if you're not familiar with what kimchi is, it's basically like a Korean version of sauerkraut. You get some cabbage, some garlic, some peppers, all kinds of awesome spices, and you seal this stuff in a jar, and it ferments, and it supposedly gets really, really good. So I made a jar of kimchi, and I decided it was time to break it open. Although I probably shouldn't have broken it open in the back of the car. That's what my car makes. It is, is how bulged it is. Oh no. Dude, whoa. The moment he cracked the lid, the whole car was filled with this rancid stench. Oh, no. Dude! It's boiling. You close it up. It is spilling! Oh crap! Shoot, it's going everywhere now. Oh, oh dude! Ah, if you spill ah, that stuff in here, ah, I will become vile! Okay, it's, it's gone. Spill, it's it's spilling on it's the done, backpack. It's done spilling. It's, it's done spilling. spilled on your backpack. I saw it. Did it. Not, it spilled on my backpack, so. And what about. Uh, I, I knew it was going to go everywhere. It didn't go everywhere. It, it went like everywhere. Drip. It already went everywhere if it dripped. What else is in there? Why don't we just stop and taste it outside the vehicle? Right. Because it just took off running. Right. That's actually kind of good. We think it. How's that, how's that kimchi treat you doing? We're not throwing it out. This stuff is. Whoop! It's kind of fiery. It's a little bit rancid. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, it's, it's, it, no, it's not rancid. It's called fermentation. Pungent odor. Pungent odor. No. I'm gonna try some of this. Yeah, try it. It's actually that's better than the stuff I made the other time. It yeah, tastes it's actually really good. Very hot. Very warm. Like you can eat that with like a side of your food. Now, you didn't just make this with like. I followed a recipe. Run of the mill. Run of the mill. What you call it? Cabbage. Yeah. This it's is. Napa cabbage. Yeah. It's yeah, this serious. Is Napa cabbage. It's high quality. I mean, like you can see eating that beside like it's a probiotic. Yeah. I've got um, lots of uh, chives on this one. I think you put chives in. I did put some chives in. Leeks or whatever they're called. Leeks and chives. Darren's not coming to Kimchi Man. Dar I, I see Darren denying. Doubled on over in about five hours. No, that stuff. That stuff is good for your gut. Uh huh. Cool. What's the general consensus on this? Should we ditch it? I don't know. I don't like the smell. I feel like after I eat this, I will not be attracting any women. <laughs> oh boy. Alberta. <laughs> It kind of it reminds me of chili, actually, like a lot. Where's the moose? He, the common moose should be patting about in that tree. <laughs> the common moose. Which reminds me of so much of chili, it's not even right. Except chili had a little different kind of trees. 
trees or like this. I've never been in this type of uh, landscape before. Amazing view, we still got a lot of haze from the forest fires, but it's awesome. How are you feeling, Darren? This is absolutely incredible. Sam, I'm the world. Coffee's amazing. I got a fork, bro. Oh, thanks. Hey, no problem. You want to try the eggs yet? Tell me it's horrible. We'll hold it on our stove and keep warm. How's yeah. the scenery been treating you? I've been getting the weepies. It's amazing. It's pretty ridiculous. What is this, Darren? You already found berries. In the woods while I was using the restroom. They're like velvet, but they're sour. They're probably gonna give you rip-roaring diarrhea. Like, they're probably like, like velvet death berry or something. <laughs> Probably. I'm not eating that, I'm sorry. Probably, probably a wild master. But they're sour. That doesn't mean that. I've tasted it before. I saw a sign, attention, this is berry season, which means there's bears everywhere. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Great. All right, guys, we are currently in British Columbia right now. We're, we think we found a camp spot back here. Sam's wildly dodging ruts. Massive. But hopefully we can set up camp and get some rest. We're all pretty burnt out. It's been a long day. It's nice when Sam drives it slow. My phone has time to adjust the lighting. Dude, I'm just glad I'm driving and you're not coming back through here. <laughs> Sam... There we go again. There's yeah. serious trust issues. There are some trust issues when it comes to driving. Sam's having a, m a meltdown right now. We got this pristine lake and there's like nobody around. This is ridiculous. Let's go find us something to camp. There's fish jumping. Hurry. Alright, so. That's real. There's like nobody out here. You got this pristine lake here with someone's lawn chair they discarded. But other than that, it looks great. God, it's crystal clear. Sam's like. Free launch. It's got a hole in it. Well, guys, this is awesome. We finally found a place we can camp. There's nobody around. We got a nice lake here. All right, so Darian is really eager to see what his bear mace looks like. So we're gonna test it out. Okay, go. It's pretty powerful stuff. Wow. Day six on the road, guys. We are currently in British Columbia, making our way north towards the Yukon and then to Alaska. So, it's cool. We saw two deer this morning. 
which is exciting. Still haven't seen any, uh, you know, grizzlies or mooses yet. We've seen elk or whatever caribou, that is. Those are caribou. Caribou. No, those aren't caribou. Those are deer, dude. No, it's a caribou. Oh my goodness! I think it's a caribou. No, okay, okay. What were they? Those were white-tailed deer. We're kind of falling into the rhythm of things as far as building our own campsites and making food and everything. So, it's been fun. All right, guys, as you can see, it's getting very foggy around here. It's not fog, actually. It's smoke from some forest fire. We can smell it. It's getting in our lungs, our noses. I'm out! Dude, you're ruining my shot. <laughs> I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! As you can see, visibility has been severely reduced, and that is not due to fog. It is due to smoke. There apparently is some forest fire around here. The difference between this smoke and the other smoke we've been driving through uh, up in the mountains is that this smoke is a lot heavier, a lot thicker, and we can actually smell the burnt smell. So, definitely very interesting. Baby, baby. Brandon's got another fish on. Bro, this guy be the way it is. Oh, on the trout. Oh, dude, look at this thing. What do you got? Oh, it's a rainbow, dude. Just caught a beautiful little rainbow. Boom. Fishing up here is good to say the least. Alright guys, we made camp for the night again. It is a beautiful location. We got an amazing view behind us. Sadly, the fishing wasn't so hot. There was a lot of small fish uh, that were nibbling at our lines, but nothing really big enough to get on a line and to eat, which is sad. But we are going to be making a camp favorite, What You Got Rice. The name kind of implies it all. It's basically rice made out of what you got. And this is what we got right here. We got some uh, red roasted peppers. We also have some cauliflower and jalapenos that was in a can. So that's our base. We're probably going to cut up some onions and simmer that with oil. And then we're going to add some brown rice, maybe some bacon bits, a little garlic salt, and you have what you got rice. A camp favorite. We're at our camp stop oh, for the night. Yeah, it's, it's about seven, quarter to eight or so. French is making some what you got rice. What you got rice, boys. That's what we've been eating for the last three nights, but hey, it's great stuff. It is always good. We are. It's, it's always new and surprising. This side, very nice lake. And it's like, the land is fairly ridiculous around here. We're actually able to make French press in the car. Well, this is first. First, this is trial run. See trial run. Forward. We're getting gas right now. We have now. a French press, coffee in it, and a jet boil boiling water. Magic. Yep. How'd that work out? Good. Did it? Wasn't too bad. Wait. I need to make sure I come out with a card. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't want to forget that. Hey, I got talked into a heli steer. Oh, really? This is only the largest heli skiing resort in the world. Oh, this one? Yeah, it's like two thirds larger than Switzerland. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 
So I guess now we know where to come if we want to. Heli ski. What are the charge? I didn't ask him. I should have asked them that. Where is the last frontier heli ski? So prices start, you know. Go beyond. All right, guys, day seven of the trip. As of now, we've currently been on the road for about a week, Sam. Uh, today is the seventh day. No, today is Tuesday. Yes. Right. Is today Tuesday? Yes. No, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Yes, today is the seventh day. Seventh day, cool. Time and, and space kind of just, you know, the scenery, the days, the food, everything kind of turns into a blur after a while. It's hard to keep track of time and where we are. Except the scenery keeps, you know, awing us. That's good. Catch him. <laughs> Where'd he go? He's up in the bushes now, he's gone. That's so weird, dude. Day seven. Yeah. It's raining. Get to eat in the car. We had to eat in the car because it rained and and it started to kind of smell like food in here and men. So we now have some some stuff burning. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn, what's up? We're entertaining ourselves by looking at all the, at all the pictures of <laughs> On our the last week. It's bad. Better fish. I don't know what it is. Another grayling. Dude, look at this fish. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful grayling right there. Look at that fish, guys. Amazing, look at the colors on it. And there's the sign for Alaska and it just hit me I mean, it was so awesome finally we made it and to me I mean anything beyond that is just a bonus trip and we've landed in a mosquito or gnat infested campground paid $17 to stay here 
and we hunted down a policeman to see if it was legal to make fire and we're still not making fire but it is legal <laughs> So we crossed over the Alaskan border about, I'd say, 4 o'clock this evening. Went and got some food, and like Darian said, we got a campground here. And I'm gonna say one thing, the bugs are terrible out here. I had a bug fly into my mouth and I almost threw up. Sad that we didn't get that on film. Um, we got a little coffee going right now. It's really good. We're not really sure what the plan is going forward for the rest of our stay here in Alaska. We're kind of probably trying to play it by ear, maybe do some fishing for salmon. Like I said, we're just kind of fly by the seat of our pants to see what happens, but so far, uh, it feels good to actually be in Alaska and to know that we've made it this far. So, all right. Scenery is fantastic. Is it nice? Very nice. How was that? Woo! That's some cool stuff. I kind of enjoyed that. So we had about five days to spend in Alaska. We were around Anchorage area and uh, we decided we're going to do some mountain climbing. The whole trip, Darian, he wanted to do some mountain climbing. Um, and so finally we decided we'll, we'll get it out of the system. So I started doing some research of the different hikes in the area and I found one suitable for three guys that had been cooped up in a car for two weeks. Dog. This could be like yeah. a, a death sentence. A little bit of a death sentence. I mean, look at these, these, these rocks are like stinging, stinging. knives. <laughs> Darren's making phone calls, of course, because that's what you do when you got good service on top of a mountain. Hey, panel. You gotta be careful. You gotta watch your footing. So, Mount Denali. Uh, is the highest peak in Alaska and it's something we really wanted to see. I personally wanted to see it. And we actually camped at a little little pull-off campsite there. And we did go out and go climbed a small trail up the side of this mountain and found this cool lookout and where we could just see this massive river way down below us and this beautiful Denali mountain out in front of us. It was kind of a highlight of the trip and it was just a really amazing moment.
pretty unique experience driving home from Alaska. We came up behind this bus, and there was these two dudes in the back of the bus playing music. One guy had like a bongo drum, and the other guy had like an accordion, and they were just going for it back there. And so Darian whipped out his ukulele, and we pulled up really, really close to their bumper, and Darian started playing music, and the guys looked back at us, and they started playing music, and it was hilarious because we were in two separate vehicles, and we were both just jamming out. It was hilarious. Well guys, it is the 15th day of our trip. We are currently headed back home from Alaska. Uh, we are currently in the Yukon right now. I didn't film a whole lot today because honestly, it was just a lot of driving involved. We made camp right here. Um, your boy Darian's right there, hanging out. And uh, Sam's making a fire, we're gonna cook some food. Should be uh, a nice, enjoyable evening. On the way back from Alaska, we perfected the art of escaping a bear attack while inside of a tent. Good night, Sam. Good night, Darren. Alrighty guys, it is 10.40 here, and we are preparing to drive all night <clears throat> to get oh. home by tomorrow, uh, about midday tomorrow. We have about, oh, 12, 13 hours ahead of us, so it's gonna be a bit of an interesting experience. Hopefully nobody dies, we'll have lots of energy drinks, and we'll see what happens. Well guys, I gotta say, this trip has been the trip of a lifetime. We got to see some amazing sights. Not only that, but I got to experience it with two of my best friends, Samuel and Darian. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much uh, for coming along on this trip with me. Thank you, Sam, for planning the trip and doing all of the research. Um, it definitely panned out to be an amazing experience. Yeah.